Now we pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You give the bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contains all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you give, give us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us. The peace of the kingdom, we are you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are your mouth, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are your mouth, women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, Lord, your, your grace, grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on five luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Second Luminous Mystery the wedding at Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Fifth Luminous Mystery The Institution of the Holy Eucharist our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage. O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise not our petitions, petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O Blessed, Glorious and Blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his, by his life, life, death, and, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. life. Grant we beseech you that, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has sent over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrust, you entrust our, our Savior, Savior to the, the care, care of St. Joseph. Joseph. By, By the help of his prayers, may your may church continue, continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, Spirit God forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, being. We, we praise you, you as, as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this on jubilee of the Dominican, Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we praise you as the way and the truth and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity for our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, in the gospel we share with all people. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Domini, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday in the 18th of ordinary time. 
and the memorial of St. John Meriviani, priest. St. John Meriviani was born at Lyons in Italy, 1786. After overcoming many difficulties, he was ordained a priest. He was entrusted with the parish in the town of Ars in the Diocese of Bailey. He cared for this parish in a marvelous way by his preaching, his mortification, prayer, and good works. Since he was renowned for great skill in helping penitents, people came to him from many regions and devoutly accepted his counsels. He died in 1859. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare, shall declare your, your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, Chief Shepherd, Shepherd of, the of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, Chief Shepherd, Shepherd of the flock. Of the flock. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship Christ, Christ chief, chief shepherd of the flock. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let, let us worship Christ, Christ Chief Shepherd of the flock. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ, Chief Shepherd, Shepherd of, of the flock. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ chief, chief Shepherd, Shepherd of the flock. flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. Steer up, mighty power. Lord, come to our aid. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's feet? You have fed them with tears for their bread an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with his shadows, the cedars of God with his bows. He stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river, it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is blocked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beast of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. 
Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the front of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked miles for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord. Though you have been angry with me, your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bring out your joy to God, our strength. Bring out your joy to God, our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise the song and sound the timbre, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on, on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning, O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. And the Lord your God was brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. On that, all the people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest St. John Vianney, wonderful in his pastoral zeal, Grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. 
I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All, from least to greatest, shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you will not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Please stand. Alleluia. Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do you say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah. Still others, Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon, Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day, be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, 
Get behind me, Satan. You're an obstacle to me. You're thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning and welcome po sa inyong lahat dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Good morning. Paano nga ba natin nakikilala ang Panginoong Diyos sa ating buhay? Kagaya ng naranasan ng mga disciples ng Panginoon, hindi naman bigla-biglang nakikilala ang isang tao, ang isang bagay o ang isang pangyayari Usually, it takes time. Katulad din natin, <clears throat> lalong-lalo na in our time right now, hindi naman natin nakasa, nakasalamuha ang Panginoon in our, in our lives. Unti-unti siya. Like for example, kung babalikan natin kung paano natin unang nakilala ang Panginoon, di ba? We also relied on people around us. Our parents, tatay, sinanay, mga kapatid, mga kamag-anak. The people who live with us, I remember, yeah, if my memory would serve me right, na pag nakikita ko yung aking mga pamangkin, mga apo, very simple prayers ang itinuturo sa mga bata in the name of the, baby talk pa yan, no? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Tapos you join in the prayers little by little, then you go to school, a Catholic school, obviously, and you learn from the sisters or the fathers who run the school. So in other words, it takes time to know who Jesus is in our lives. Pero an experience ni Peter is different. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, it is not, it is something mysterious. It is the Lord or the Father himself who revealed that thing about who the Messiah is. It's not just that the Lord cares about what other people say. Even in our own experience, di ba, meron din tayo mga tinatawag na institutional face, depende sa role na ating ginagampanan sa buhay. Hindi ka palaging pwedeng BFF ng iyong mga kaibigan kung professional na ang ating pinag-uusapan kung sa hanap buhay na. You have to keep a certain... Uh, disposition kapag ka ikaw ay may ginagampan ng uh, role, lalong lalo na sa opisina o sa lipunan. So it takes time for us to know who Jesus is. Most of us are adults here in, in this church at kung ating babalikan kung paano natin nakikilala ang Panginoon, hindi ba't nakikilala rin natin siya? Kapag ka tayo nagbabasa ng Biblia, the Holy Scriptures, uh, sa naririnig din natin sa ibang tao, kagaya ko, halimbawa, nag-humili ako sa inyo, maaaring uh, may mapulot din kayo sa aking mga sinasabi. And how else do we know the Lord? Uh, when we practice what we have read in the scriptures, ano ba yung mga sinabi ng Panginoon? Whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you do it to me. Kaya yung mga ginagawa natin kabutihan, ay uh, perhaps isang way of knowing who the Lord is in our lives. Because that is very important. Never mind what other people say. It is how we personally experience Jesus in our lives. Kahit na hindi natin siya nakasalamuha physically. But there is something there. Because hindi naman natin makikilala ng lubos-lubos ang Panginoon, di ba? We are so small and we're so limited to contain the Lord or God in our lives, in our hearts. We will always be limited and there is always room for mystery. At ganun din naman ang pagkilala natin sa ating mga sarili, di ba? Kilala niyo na ba ang inyong sarili ng lubos-lubos? Hindi rin, di ba? There are some things in our lives that perhaps is a space for God. Uh, nadi-discover lamang natin o nare-realize lamang natin yan kapag yung tinatawag natin Freudian slips, di ba? Ba't ko ba nasabi yun? Ba't nga ba ganun ang aking naisip? So, we get to know ourselves too, day in and day out. Hindi naman, 
isang bagsakan lang yan, kilala na natin ang ating mga sarili. That is why it is important for us to have also self-knowledge. Like for example, si Peter, hindi niya alam parang kung ano yung sinasabi niya. Basta nasabi lamang niya na, you are the Messiah, iba? So it was not revealed to him. It's not because of his own uh, powers that he knew about it. It was revealed to him by the Father. And yet, a few moments after, nung sinasabi na lang Panginoon that He is going to suffer in Jerusalem, that He is going to die, etc. Anong sinabi ni Peter? I will not let that happen to you. At ano, he also found the rebuke of Jesus. You are not thinking as God does. So very compulsive siya. That's why we have to know also our ourselves, di ba? Hindi naman lahat ng tao ay pare-pareho. Kung ating makikita, may mga taong Parang plantsa, di ba? Parang wala lang. May mga tao namang very uh, volatile, very passionate about their causes, about the things that they are concerned about. So we have to also understand who we are. Diba? So we have to have self-knowledge, and the best knowledge for that self-knowledge is to think about how God knows us. Di ba? Misan kasi, we are very strict on ourselves na hindi natin mapatawad rin ang ating mga sarili. Diba? We make a mistake. Parang that's the end of the world for us. But what if for a moment we stop and pause and reflect and ask ourselves, how does God look at me? Diba? Is God, depende kung sino nga ba ang Diyos sa atin, kadalasan kasi parang nakatapak tayo sa numero. Nagkamali ba ako? Parang hindi ka na makagalaw kasi nga, Akala natin, o nakagis na natin sa concept of God in our lives is a, polis, a policeman, di ba? Yung ma- mahuhuli ka. But let us not forget, God is a father. God provides for our needs. God is a God who will not betray us and will not break His promises to us. Na-experience na natin yan sa ating buhay, di ba? Yung mga... Kaibigan natin, yung mga kakilala natin, sometimes their promises are broken. But does God break His promise? Lalong-lalo yung mga pilgrims, maraming hinihingi sa Panginoon. Uh, will God answer their prayers in the best way that God knows? Di ba? So, once again in this Mass, let us pray for true self-knowledge that God will also reveal to us who we are and how he sees us. We now stand to offer our prayers and intentions. As we ponder on the foundations of the church, we pray with open hearts to God the Father for our own needs and the needs of the world. For each intention we shall say, Living God, bless your people. Living God, bless your people. that the Pope, the successor of St. Peter, may use the power of the keys wisely and according to God's plan. We pray. Living God, bless your people. That the power of evil may not prevail over those who maintain positions of authority in the community. We pray. Living God, bless your people. That all believers may never lose sight of Christ as the cornerstone and foundation of their lives. We pray. Living God, bless your people. That the sick and the aged may be supported and loved by their families and friends. We pray. Living God, bless your people. For our brothers and ministry at St. Lorenzo Ruiz and companion martyrs in Dagatagatan and Most Holy Rosary in Iloilo. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass, the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life especially Reverend Father Pedro Tejero Opi, who passed away earlier this morning, may find rest in the kingdom of God. 
we pray. Living God, bless your people. Father, source of all wisdom, your Son entrusted his power to the church. As we offer these prayers, help us to fulfill your plan for us through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer for you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we owe for you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sagot po kayo ng malakasa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Vianney, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis' Assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have mercy, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to receive him. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Please stand.
What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Let us pray. Make us who have been nourished by this sacred meal, Almighty God, always follow the example of Blessed John Vianney in serving you with constant devotion and assisting all with untiring charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, brothers and sisters, dear friends and fellow pilgrims, thank you very much for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us today, this morning. Please continue to pray for us and the work that have been entrusted to us in here in Pangasinan. And rest assured that we also include you and your intentions in all our prayers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.